Okay, this is going to be my third run from the series. Um, I want to improve some things. For example, right now I'm going to explain everything, but um, all the draft I'm doing. But I, I'm not go. I'm not going to rank all the cards uh, singularly. Um, I'm going to talk about the groups of cards to make this section faster. Um, but I want to to see every card because maybe you are starting playing this game and you don't know um, what these cards do so just to to let you see all the cards um, so yeah right now we have Yonia, um, Shadow Wilds and, and Noctus sorry um, I love these three factions all factions are good but I'm not going to pick uh, Yonia. I do not like a Yasuo in my deck. Um, I'm not going to pick a Kalista um, because these two cards are a little bit situational. I love Vengeance, but yes, I, I like these three cards. So I'm gonna pick Noxian Might. Noxus, it's a really uh, a great faction for expedition because it's really aggressive. These units are huge in stats. Um, Darius, it's a great finisher, only six mana. That's uh, really low for, and if you manage to level him up, that it's pretty easy. It's going to be huge for six mana. So okay, said elusive units always. A good pick, Timo. Uh, I think Timo is not in a good spot right now. Finally, Ash, Freljord. So, um, I think all these three groups are decent, but of course, I'm not gonna gonna pick uh, Piltover because of the Timo. I mean, if you compare him to an Ash, to a Seth, to a Darius. It's a little bit bad. I mean, it, but it's g great if you compare it to other one mana units. But yeah, of course, uh, he's occupying a champion's loft, so you don't want Timo. Um, so I'm gonna pick Yonia because I think Seth right now is the best champion for expedition, and elusive units are a great win condition. Uh, so yes, Twin Discipline is also pretty good card. So I will try to make. Oh, of course, I'm I'm gonna see what picks I get offered, but I I see if I can pick the if I can get the aggressiveness from Noxus and elusive units from Yonia. That's what I want right now. So okay, not gonna pick this group because of I do not like Legion Marauder. Um, actually, it's not that bad because you play this, you attacked, and it's going to be a four three. But I think there are better options. I mean, I, I prefer a Reckless Refiant than a Legion Marauder. Um, because it's faster and that's what I want for my aggressive deck But yeah, this card is it's not that I don't like Don't like it for my deck uh, I think there are better options um, So yes, gonna pick again Noxial Might Because I like these huge bodies Transfusion normal because you don't want to deal one damage to an ally and of course this card is because there are cards that get benefits from getting damage and that's that's the reason this card six exists but yeah i do not want it for my deck refine shield breaker nice and god okay prismatic barrier really good recall and green glade elder so <coughs> I tend to avoid Green Glade Elder, so I'm not gonna pick this group uh, because recalling my allies is not what I want. Um, 
this uh, pretty slow card I'm probably sure I'm gonna play all the minions all, all the units that I have in my hand whenever I can so yeah I, I'm not going to waste the uh, three mana or the or the third turn just to play this and I'm not going to pick transfusion because um, I think the defect is not that good if so yes, I'm gonna pick these two spells, Decent, especially because of Prismatic Barrier and in guard can give me a little bit of control if things get out of control, exactly <laughs> Sorry, English is not my main language Refine Glory Seeker, nice Intimating Roar, could be good for my deck Naboy Blade Scout, Greenglade Elder again River Shaper and Senna Now, I'm between these two Shield wall and auction might. I'm gonna. I, I would love to get uh, Senna, but yes, I'm gonna pick Noxion might because I like this card. You have to think about it as a removal, as a hard. You play it, you challenge one guy, boom, it kills him. And uh, yeah, intimidation roll can be really good because I'm not getting the elusive units I wanted. Uh, of course, I have this kind of cards, but this is this is not a proper elusive unit because it only has elusive for one turn. So I'm gonna pick this because intimated roar can be really good, really good. And also, I'm starting to see a really good aggressive deck. Cooling strike, nice. Steel tempest, pretty bad from what I want for my deck. I don't want to play defensive spells. Deny, really good. Herald of Spring, Cythria, and Silverwing Bangor. So I'm not gonna pick Disruption. I'm between these two, and the reason I want to pick this group is just for the Deny. I already said it in other videos, but Deny is not just stopping a spell, it's denying a whole gameplay, a whole plan. So that's why I think it's so good, so good. So, but actually, uh, a silver ring vanguard could be really good. But yes, I'm gonna pick my deny because I think I think it's the best spell in the game. So, cut to the arm, a really good unit to play in my fifth turn. Fire Hopefully again, that's really good. Green Glade Cave Checker, no. Spirit Refuge, okay. Sounds it, and Yusari, okay. Um, I would love to pick a Yusari, but I do not like Sounds it. Um, because, yeah, I already said it. I'm probably going to play all my allies. Not, probably, I think that I'm not going to have spell mana in my early turns, in my first turns. So this is going to be a dead card, a useless card for my deck. So yes, I'm gonna pick again Noxion Might, Cut of the Arm, it gives over one. That's a great ability to have in an aggressive deck. Legion Drummer, nice. Warship, nice again. Elixir of Wrath, good. Legion Grenadier, okay. A little bit on the bad side. Solitary Monk, well, again. These two units are not proper elusive units because I'm pretty sure this is going to be a dead card. If I play this, I, I, and I'm not going to play this because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have the ball control. Pretty sure we have a lot of two and three mana units. So yeah going to avoid this I'm going to buff my early game these two units are great supports I think they are one of the best supports units in the game I prefer these two rather than this one for example Herald of Spring if only it has two if only it was a 2-3 it would be okay but being a 2-2 two -two, it's a little bad so yeah, that's why I like these two cards. Legion Reward, nice. I would love to get more of this. Legion Grenadier, no. Blue Shaper, no. Bright Steel Protector, mm, pretty situational. 
because I do not have many challenger units uh, and to make use of it you really want to have bar, uh, challenger units but yeah this guy is really good really really good um, one fire hatchling nice you sorry okay finally I can pick my elusive units these two guys are great great units units uh, so yes Mage Seeker Insider, no, you do not want to discard spell. The tank, really good card, I like it. Sparring Mentor, okay, I like this card. Uh, especially because you can choose what ally to buff. If you can manage to buff the set, it's going to be really, really good. But yeah, you can also buff an elusive unit, and it's going to be good as well. Legion Drama again, Reinforcement, and Silver Bring. Silver Ring Vanguard. Okay, I like this card. I really like this card. Even if you don't have elite units, I think I don't have one. Anyone? No, no. I don't have elite units. But yeah, I really want a Silver Ring Vanguard. But this is not the cards I want. I'm in pick number 10. So. I have 15 units, 5 spells, I'm gonna repeat it, I like to have a 2 to 1 ratio, something like 20 units and 10 spells for the first uh, draft. Um, and of course the spells uh, have to be burst spells or fast spells, um, I mean I do not count this as a spell, a proper spell, I'm talking about this. Panic barrier, twin disciplines. So I'm a little bit low in the spells, uh, but it's okay because I'm probably not gonna gonna have the the space to play spells. Um, probably going to play spells in turn four or five, maybe. In turn two and three, I want to play all units always. And yeah, I, I do not. These are not the late game cards that I need. I mean, a silver ring vanguard, yes, vanguard, yes. But I want finishers because I already have an aggressive deck. And what I want is something like a Darius, uh, intimidating roar, one for a hatchling. So that's why I'm gonna still keep buffing my early game. Elixir of Wrath, nice. Refined Shield Breaker, nice. Usari Inspirimental, nice. Warships and Lauren Protege. So, I think Lauren Protege is one of the best units in the game for Expedition, but it's not what I need for my deck. I would love to get another uh, an, a Lauren Protege, but what I really need is another usive unit that can act as a finisher so I'm going to pick this group not going to pick this because I prefer a Yusari rather than a Jifara and Shield Breaker okay Mage Seeker Conservator nice Mage Seeker Investigator nice Green Gale Elder Shadow Assassin Recall and Green Glade Elder so I'm not going to pick Discipline I would love to get a Shadow Assassin but I do not want Green Glade Elder. She's probably going to buff two allies, or maybe one, maybe one or two. I'm pretty sure about that. So yes, I'm gonna choose Spellbound because I like Mage Seeker Conservator. You played in the early game, and he's going to give you a six plus spell. So that's going to buff your mid game or late game. That's really really good. A Mace Seeker Investigator, it's okay. It's okay card. Decent stats. And if you manage, um, maybe you can get huge value out of it. Okay, Legion Railroad, nice. Reckless Trifarium, King Cove Life Play, Sparring Student, Rush, Green Glade Lookout. Okay, I'm not gonna pick Shield Wall because. I do not want any more two mana units. 
and between these two I think even I even if I prefer this group I'm gonna pick this because I want uh, Kinko Lifeblade and Sparring Student it's a really good card in my opinion um, yes gonna pick this Prismatic last pick okay uh, Prismatic Barrier, Silverwing Scout Battlesmith, no Vanguard Redeemer, okay Yusari and Green Glade Caretaker so this is going to be a dead card um, I don't have barriers, only one spell and of course not good so I'm gonna pick Prismatic uh, Sweet Up because I really like this spell and Silverwing Scout it's a great elusive unit it can trade almost with all other elusive units um, of course it, it can trade with Yusari but it can trade with Shadow Assassin and some others so yes I'm gonna pick this mm, this is a good trade and God for Shadow Assassin a better trade and Herald Spring for Nawori Conspirator, okay. I like the three trades, but I'm gonna make this trade because I don't think that I want Talent God in my deck. Three money is a lot for for my deck. I don't I do not want to use a three mana spell. I prefer to play a minion, so yes, Shadow Sin is exactly what I need. So, um, the archetype of this deck is called aggro deck. I have a lot of low mana minions. I want to deal the most amount of damage in the early game. But I'm going to run out of fuel. I mean... I, I want to keep the pressure and win the game in the early game but I'm probably going to run out of fuel in the late game and the mid game so that's what I need that's why I need um, finishers like Darius um, and this this deck doesn't have the the finishers I want, but it's okay. I still can keep adding in the future more. We march as one, an unstoppable force. I can keep adding in the future more Darius because I'm probably going to get offer. Okay, pretty lucky. I wanted to keep to play this guy to to get a 5-2 in my next turn okay actually this is better so this is really bad because I'm going to waste a, a, a turn to play a minion just to block this set set is really really strong as you can see I'm already at 13 health that's so low but yeah we still can can win this game of course uh, luckily it seems the, the deck it's a little bit aggro as our deck you soon understand my message. so we are probably sure he is not going to have mid game cards um, I'm gonna play this yes and I'm going to give a quick attack to my Gringley duo, duo so he doesn't get blocked by this but yes I think if I had the chance if I have the chance 
in my next turn I'm going to block the elusive units if he blocks my refined hopeful that that would be really good for me because I do not have any other way to deal with elusive units um, the only way I have is to create pressure and obligate him to block my units so I'm happy with this trade luckily I still have a life till the li this life till guy so I can regain a little bit of health okay he's buffing this guy luckily he doesn't have a set he's already dead let's hope if we can get our champions okay I'm gonna play keep twin disciplines just to buff my green glade duo um, I think that I'm going to pass because I want to silence actually it's not called silence I want to okay I can keep this guy alive he's not going to challenge one of these guys of course yes I'm gonna do this and I'm going to silence the Usari um, I'm going to play a minion so this is going to be a 3-3 and this is not going to be able to attack Um, I think I'm going to make this trade I don't know maybe because I have quick attack so yes no no I'm not gonna make this trade I'm the one that it's creating pressure right now that, that has the advantage, I think, in this scenario. Nice, this is really good. I want to obligate him to, to, to him to block my unit. That will be better for me of course okay he's going to get uh, plus one because he's going to summon one another uh, unit so it's a possibility to give barrier to my reckless clifian and I'm going to do it because I don't see this game lasting more um this is pr this is going this game probably going to last two more turns something like that three so i do not want to lose a uh, tempo and want to play all my all the things i can right now um as we can see when i said earlier that this guy had an aggro deck that's what I mean he he has 
many low mana cost units and and yes he he probably doesn't have a huge deal in his in his deck huge huge mid-range units or something like that so I was pretty happy to fail against this guy uh, yes, I can kill this, and if I can't, it's okay. Maybe he is going to nice, pretty good. Um, I can play these two minions, and if he doesn't play anything else, this is lethal. Okay. Oh, this is a good play. Just to make sure that I'm going to kill him. Gonna be gonna give quick attack to this guy and life steal to my Darius. Nice, pretty nice. So, I would love to get another cell, but as I was saying earlier, what I really need is more finishers, more late game units um, so I'm gonna pick the Darius because also it has really good cards uh, I would love to get these two cards but it's okay Darius, it's, a, it's almost the best finisher in the game so it's a, it's a pity that I'm making a similar deck that I made in my last run such an, an aggressive deck and I want their use because they are my finishers so yeah that's really really bad it's a little bit boring to see this again but maybe you can you can define that yes aggressive units are OP uh, aggressive decks are really good in expedition and actually I think well made aggressive decks are OP um, I think I'm gonna buff my reckless refarian because it's a bigger difference having 5 health rather than 4 and it's not so much of a difference having 2 and 3 health or yeah this is the worst case scenario the, the worst case scenario no sorry um this is the um, the worst case to buff the worst unit to buff because it's the same having one health or two so i'm gonna play it with Fire glory seeker and if he doesn't play anything I will be able to attack for 6, that would be really really good. Nice. Pretty good. Okay, he didn't want to get this ally killed. It's okay. So we are playing against a pretty uh, similar deck. Uh, we can say Carmite the finisher for his deck of course karma is not a finisher but pretty sure you understand the the, the late game unit so okay i'm gonna play my reckless defiant because nothing can stop me 
I think it's the strongest card to play right now. I'm going to block this. Yes. So I would love to attack right now, but I'm gonna make this play, playing these two minions. That's okay. So I'm going to kill the elusive unit. It's my is the best thing I can do, and I'm going to buff this guy so he doesn't get killed and attack with this. He's lethal right now. Of course, he can keep he can block, but yes, he has to defend. So that's pretty good, he's only at 6 health, I have a Darius, I have a cut of the arm, I have a um, spell that gives overwhelm, so pretty sure I'm going to kill him in the next turn. Do I want to keep 3 mana? No, actually this is better because cut of the arm has a might included. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to block with this. Because this is uh, this has more attack. But um, yes, I'm gonna do this. He doesn't have mana. Okay, actually it was the same because this is going to get stunned. I'm gonna play my Darius right now. And I'm pretty sure he can't defend against this. Maybe he has recall. Nice. This is GG. Darius, it's of course a, a better finisher rather than a Karma. Uh, if the opponent have a barrier, is the, the overwhelms still deals damage. I'm saying this because when I started playing, I thought that if you have a barrier, you are going to block all the overwhelm damage because it's like it's hitting the barrier, not hitting the unit. But yeah, that's not the case. So did I for you? Sorry, no. I prefer to keep this. Mace Seeker for Calling Strike, nice, this is a good trade. Herald Spring for Elixir of Wrath, another good trade. But yes, I'm gonna make this trade because Cooling Strike, it's really, really good. You can kill so many units. There are so many units that has that have three power or less than three power and are really good. For example, Lucian. Sad Elise. I don't know. There are, there are so many. Fiora. So yes, I want to to get my three mana units rather than spells. Nice. We are fighting against Dimashia and Shadowwilds. Lucian and Hecarim. So. I'm really scared about the Hecarim. Really, really scared. I think this is a great unit. It's like the upgraded version of Zed. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with Winglay Duo. I think it's safer. Dimashia and Shadow Isles don't have elusive units. Actually, Dimashia has only one, 
and we have it in uh, in our deck it's a four mana unit uh two three with tough but yeah that's the only one shadow doesn't have a elusive unit so we were pretty lucky to get two elusive units so we know we are going to deal a lot of damage with these two cards The reason I'm skipping the block, it's... Of co well... <coughs> the actual reason is because I don't want to... This unit to die. Just that. Okay. We are still pretty good, so... Right now, I can play these two guys, and I'm going to buff so much these two units. That's going to be really, really good. Nice. Pretty nice. I like when the opponent plays this kind of cards. He probably can kill it. Okay. That was huge. I don't know why I talk. Um Okay, I, I actually I can't attack with everything right now. Um Maybe I want to attack with this just to get. Actually, I can wait. I'm going to use this guy to block this kind of cards. And yeah, I'm probably sure in my next turn I'm gonna play Yusari. So I'm not going to play this. Actually, I think I have to do this. Uh. That's okay. Nice. Really nice. The reason I like this card, and I think I've been so lucky right now, it's because this exactly the card I needed. I can keep attacking with my with my elusive unit. Okay, actually I can play Darius. I'm gonna do that. Um, I ca I can keep attacking with my elusive unit, and I can use these three spider links to block all of his cards. Um, we are not fighting against uh, aggressive deck. This is probably a mid-range deck. So I'm placing right on the right side to my Darius because it's going to level up in the middle of the battle, and I'm still going to attack it to kill this guy. Okay, he he knew because he gave that unit ephemeral he knew that it was going to die but maybe someone who doesn't know that he thinks he is going to be uh, safe but yeah of course you're not going to be safe okay i can use right now this um yeah, that's okay. He made a really good play, getting all that life still. That was really, really good. This spell is huge, huge spell.
it's really hard to play against the Runation because it's not that common in Expedition not that common but yes pretty hard to play against you can play around Judgment or something like that but against the Runation pretty pretty hard I don't know if playing my minion this especially this one was a misplay it's hard to to tell really hard to tell nice he didn't got the allegiant bonus okay right now i don't have um I don't have my Darius. I have my I still have I have another Darius. Um I'm saying this because I'm looking for my win condition right now. I'm probably sure I'm going to lose this game. But of course you have to try until the last moment. Yes, Akram is huge. Um but yes. Pretty good, Hecarim has only 4, four attack. So, this is 3 plus 2, 7, 9, 11. Okay, this is 15 damage. Um, let's count again 5, uh, 10. So, yes, I can't. I can let any of my allies die. I think I'm going to block this. And I'm going to be alive at 3 health. Uh, being playing against a Shadow Eyes, he probably has a spell that can kill my unit. So, that's pretty, pretty bad. So yeah, we have to try this. Nice, we still have the mana to play this. Don't get in my way. The best thing I can do right now is passing. But if he pass, because I can play Intimidate in Roar, but he's going to be able to play another unit. Um, but if I pass right now, it's going to be really bad for me. So yes, just I have to try this. Okay. That was huge. Um, yes, I can give this. Hmm. So we can still block everything to be to survive. And maybe maybe we can kill him in the next turn. I need to block Hecarim. And also he has overwhelm, that's pretty bad. And they're go he's going to create two uh, ephemeral allies that's going to be blocked with these two guys. Okay, I do not 
Okay, Lucian is going to level up. But yeah, still, we can still block the Lucian. He's going to attack two times. So we have to do this. We have to make these blocks. Um, yes, if I make this block, I s no actually yes because then I can play cut of the arm. Yes, I need to kill this guy, so he doesn't attack, and I want to keep one more unit just to block the Lucian next attack but yeah this is probably going to be GG okay we don't care about the spell At least right now, just to survive. Nice. So, if we get a Darius, we can win. Why he's doing that? He wants to kill it, probably. Yes. Okay. Maybe no, 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 no. I don't. I don't have a way to kill him right now. But if we have a, if we get a Darius, he has to block with Lucian. So that would be really, really good. Yes, I was thinking about this card. But yeah, it gives other unit the buff not to this of course I don't have a card that deals direct damage okay anyways he has a great deck so yeah GG Okay, nice, 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 nice. All these trades are really, really good. I love Fleet Feather Tracker. I love Savage Record for my deck, but I'm gonna get the Swift Wind Lancer because I know, I know that it's not what we want because we are trading a finisher for a mid-range card, but this guy is so good, so, so good that we need it um, it's only because this card is, is huge but if i wouldn't get offer this card i would have made this this trade because savage record is exactly what we need for example maybe in the last game if i got a savage recorder i could have a uh, oh challenge uh, the 1-1 one, one unit and he was going to feel obligated to play single combat with his Lucian so yeah uh, Savage Rigor is something we want but it's okay we, we, Swift Wind Lancer is so good that yes we need to we need to take it I was thinking that maybe I could have keep the um, I could have keep the um, the Darius. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is not I'm not going to buff the sparring student. So first I'm gonna play my sparring student, and then I'm probably going to buff the Usari Marjorie! 
we are making a late um, a bet um, because yeah I could have both this guy I was going to have a stronger early game but I'm making a bet for the mid game I think a plus one plus one Yusabi is going to be more useful he's going to be out of reach of L, uh, some spell from Shadow Isles so this can get killed really weak turn 4 um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna take the damage I don't care okay gonna play this because I have mana to play my twin disciplines and I'm probably going to play it okay maybe not because I want to keep it to to block the Draven. No, actually, I'm going to do it. Okay, I don't have to. So I think I'm going to slow a little bit the game. Gonna kill this guy. I can't I can't kill the Raven because if I block this he's going to buff it and yeah he's going to kill me. But I'm going to slow down the game a little bit blocking this uh, because I have a Yusari and I have a one for a hatchling. So and he's already at 13 health. So the only thing I have to do is just survive. That's the only thing I have to do. Okay. We still have our win for Hatchling. <laughs> nice. Really good call. So right now he has only a Draven. Um, Shadow... Nice, nice. Yes, Shadow Wilds uh, is not known, neither the Masia are factions that are known for mid huge mid range units. That's more the Masia or Frelion. So I'm still confident that he was not going to play really good units. That was pretty good for us. Of course, Shadowwise is known for having huge late game units. It's really, really good units. Okay. I'm hitting for six. What I'm, uh, I I can buff these two. Uh, I'm going to give might to this guy. So right now, I have a pseudo lethal with my windfire hatchling, and that's really really good. 
it's a pity that I didn't have just one more mana. One more mana. <laughs> okay, okay, that's bad. Um, okay, I can, I can block these two guys, and the Darius is not going to level up. He still has two spin knacks. But maybe he can give might to a unit. And if that's the case, no, no, no. If he has, no, he, so he has only one man and that's okay. Uh, yes, this okay. Wow. <laughs> The ruination. I can't believe the value of this little guy. Where it is? Mage Seeker Conservator. Huge. Huge value. Okay, what's the correct play? I have the 11 health. If I play this. I'm not going to have mana to play the Renation um, because I was trying to look for the safest options but I think the safest option is playing this and attacking he's going to kill it no nice nice Nice, he's looking for answers. Um, yes, I'm going to attack with everything because maybe he can kill this guy because an ally has died. So he has that shadow spells. But I still have a twin disciplines. Uh, this is if maneuver can stun. An ally. So maybe this gets stunned. He can give life deal to his unit. There isn't a spell that do that. This is a maneuver probably. Grasp of the Undying. Okay, this is a little. Nice. GG. Really good. We save our expedition. So finally, um, this is two great choices because, of course, I'm even if this group has a swift wind lancer, I'm not going to pick a shen, but. This is a really funny situation because I have Darius right now that it's a great finisher but also I have two Lucy units that could be a really good finisher as well. So I have two Lucy units, what, three, four, five and six. So as you can see I'm not I, I don't I do not have many elusive units and if I play against a guy that has elusive units in his deck as well as me he's going he's probably going to win the that elusive battle and I don't have challenger units so what I'm going to do is pick another that use because um, LEC units are great, but tend to have low stats. 
So I'm going for the for the stats battle. And yeah, that use that use is huge. Really, really good unit. Finally, a cell. That's pretty good. I'm gonna replace this card because I already already have my turn to replay. Unless he has a fleet for the tracker. Mm. This is a pity because these cards are not pro Noxus. But yes, I'm gonna play this and buff the set. Of course. So we are fighting against a funny duo, Lux and Hammerdinger. We are already in, turn, in our third third win, so that means he has he already has uh, three champions, uh, four champions. Sorry. So yes, he probably has three Hammerdingers. I'm pretty sure he chose the Hammerdingers. Maybe he has unlicensed, unlicensed innovation. Pretty common spell from Piltover. Nice. Pretty good. Okay, he made a good play, kind of a good play, but he's already at 12 health. So that's said already um, made his job. He already made his job. Okay, I have elusive units. Um, I, yes, I can play this, I can definitely play this, so he doesn't attack in this turn, and I can keep me my Mage Seeker Conservator, gonna make this block, because right now, if I, I can freely attack with this, so it's, I know that it's not going to be blocked by a 3-3 three, three. and he can only block it with Champ Womp but yes anyways I'm gonna play my Usari if he can if, if he has something like a true shot barrage or a way to stabilize the board I'm going to lose Maybe I think he's okay. This this is pretty bad. This is pretty bad. Do I want to attack with this? Actually, I can wait because I have a stand united. But yeah, Piltover has a lot of direct damage, so it's not a. It's not a safe option just to give these two guys barrier. And if I lose my Yusari, I'm probably going to lose the game. Unless I get an Darius. Okay, this is pretty good for us. Pretty good. Really bad unit. Um. Actually, I can wait. I can kill the Lux and I can make a block because right now he doesn't have any more mana. And yeah, right now I can play my Stand United be only because he doesn't have mana. It's the same, right? Yes. Hmm. 
Nice. Really good draw. Actually, well, I have three of three dagger, so it was expected to get at least one in in all my games. But yeah, pretty lucky draw. Perfect moment. He's going to get maybe he can get maybe a final spark, but a final spark uh, it's a slow spell, so he can't react. And that's really, really, really good unless he has a six plus burst spell. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is it. He doesn't have mana to. Okay. Let's see. Who I'm pretty sure he doesn't have an answer to this. Um, he has the the Masia can give. This is still no. This is not lethal. Okay. Really good play by him. Nice. We have a backup plan. Also, I have a barrier to protect this. So, I do not want to play my king or life play right now. I want to play dump and play these kind of cards. He, right now he doesn't have mana, so I can play my Kinko. So yes, I'm going to attack right now. Not going to give him give him the chance to react. Well, I wasn't expecting a hard wind, especially <laughs> that was a pretty good draw from Mesh Seeker Conservator. Okay, maybe, no, no, I think I will, he's, maybe it's, has, he has a Heimer Dinger, do I want to play units right now, do I want to use this right now to kill this? I can't kill it anyways because he can play two mushroom clouds and he's going to buff this guy to a 4-4 and this is going to not have any effect so yeah that if only I had twin disciplines in my last turn um, <laughs> okay He's going to use. He can't kill me anyways. But yes. I'm going to pass. I don't want to lose this card. I mean, pretty sure he. 
maybe a mystic shot no if if he had a mystic shot he would have used it two shot barrage no okay um Okay, nice, nice, nice. I have a deny, I have a barrier, I have twin disciplines. There's no way he can react to all these spells. Nice, nice, pretty good. We were just in moment because in the next turn he was going to kill us. So yes, pretty lucky. Just in time. Health of, of Spring for Elixir Wrath could be. Silverwing Scout for Twin Disciplines could be. Mage Seeker for Might. No, I want to give my Mage Seeker Conservator I want to keep my silver wing, so yes, I'm gonna make this trade. Elixir of Rod, I can buff my elusive units. Okay, we are in win number four. We have a decent deck. I do not know if we are going to get seven wins, but probably six wins. But it lacks. A bit of something <laughs> I'm not being too specific but yes I think it lacks a mid-range units just two or three more something a bigger body to play in my turn four or five um, what do I want to buff? I think I'm going to buff this card because this has support and this card has to attack to to get the effect and with 3 health it's going to be such an easy card to kill so we are playing against a mono Freljord Trindemar, Anivia and Ash expect some frostbites probably some huge mid-range units and especially in the mid game he's going to start using the frostbites and probably gonna make some really good trades he doesn't have a brown anyways I'm I'm scared about the combination of three these three champions okay I'm going to attack right now not going to wait to play this because it's turn four maybe he can play bubbling bird uh, and of course I still can yes this was expected pretty nice we buffed him uh, I'm going to wait for the might probably going to use might in the as a finisher I, I wanted to I would have played Might if the enemy's Nectus was going to fall off below 10 so the Darius levels up but yeah that's not the case um, I can block this with this maybe he can he has beer still but I think I prefer to play cut of the arm right now and that's what I'm going to do 
So I'm going to have cut the arm. If I, if I block this, it's going to get frostbite 100%. But anyways, it's okay because I can still buff this guy, and I do want I do not want. Yes, I'm still going to block. Okay, not frostbite. But yeah, I still can buff. Uh, my reckless trifarian and attack with Darius. Here to watch the bloodshed, sir. Here to win the war, soldier. Stand to it. Okay. If I attack with this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy, uh, he only has three. Units to block. Um, eight attack is probably gonna get blocked by this, so I'm gonna hit him for three. Uh, this guy probably no. This guy is not going to get blocked by this because it's going to get blocked by uh, because it's going to have four health, so he's going to block this, and yeah. Then he has two chances. Block this guy. Yes. This is pretty good. He doesn't have mana. This is a good attack. He, what he has to think about is blocking this guy or this guy. Um, he's probably going to block Darius, and that would be really good for us, anyways. Okay, he's playing. He's blocking weird. It's okay. Uh, I'm going to hit for a lot. Nice. And my Darius is going to level up in the middle of the battle. <laughs> and now he's uh, in range of lethal. What I feel confident about this because uh, he's a mono Frelior, so he doesn't have elusive units. I can play this, he can frostbite my Usari, but I can still buff it with might, so that's pretty good. That's pretty, pretty good. Okay, let's hope he wastes some frostbites. Okay, he's under pressure. He doesn't have anything right now. That's good. I'm gonna play this. Just in case. Okay, I don't even have to play my Usari. I can attack right now. Because I still have the might to buff. Nice. Uh, I know that. Okay, let's let's see the traits. Deny for Lauren Potish. No, I love this card, but deny is better. War shift for might could be. Inspire mentor for to find glory seeker. No, I want to keep my inspire mentor. Uh, War shift for might. Yes, I think I'm going to do this because might can act as a finisher, and that's what I think I need the most. I think I'm winning almost all early games. I'm Darius is always leveled up. So So yeah, I I, I know that in my last run I had a mono Noxus deck. But I tend to avoid mono mono decks. Mono refers to having only one faction because it's so easy to play around 
you can plan planificate you can plan ahead and know that he can only ha has he can only play frostbite or something like that and it's really good okay pretty bad starting hand I do not have any 3 mana units that's bad really really bad I can't even buff this guy luckily the other guy doesn't have any 3 mana turn 3 mana unit that was really lucky for us Okay, I have to play this. I do not have. I I can't lose tempo right now. That's okay. So what what we can gather, it's that he can doesn't have spells that buff minions maybe he has but the m probably he doesn't okay that's bad that's really really bad um I i'm maybe maybe the way I have to play this game, this, this game is not aggressively, and maybe I have to trade this. But but yeah, anyway, I'm I'm. Go it was just a thing, a thought. But yeah, of course I'm. I, I still have the the power to deal enough damage especially with two that you see in my hand but maybe yes exactly this maybe he can overwhelm me I'm going to deny this if I don't do this He's going to. I'm gonna install lose the game. Pretty nice. I had my deny, but yeah, gonna buff the Darius, so this can't block him. I could have uh, buff to find glory seeker also, but and maybe I can. I can block this or actually I'm gonna skip the block because it seems he has some really good uh, some really good mid-range units because he's from the Masia and I want to keep this one one just to stop a huge guy I'm gonna play my Darius not my main secret conservator because I want to keep the cooling strike just in case okay he didn't play the, the elusive unit from the Masia that's the only thing I was scared of okay maybe I can attack right now no no actually yes I'm going to attack and I have to I can use cooling strike to kill silver wing bangwa so this doesn't get killed um
Okay. I think I'm gonna keep my cooling strike. So, for that play. Um, <laughs> that was a pretty good spell. I am I'm, I'm really scared to run out of fuel because as you can see he still has five cards in his hand and he is from the Masia. Uh, I, I'm sure that I'm going that he has some huge guys. Okay, my Darius is going to die. I do not want to use a decimate. Okay. What I'm going to do is buff this guy and kill this guy. I really need to keep this guy alive. Because he's the one that is going to able me to maybe uh, the Darius going to level up in the middle of the battle because okay that's that's really really bad. Let's hope I have something that... I mean if I play this, he's going to play anything else and these cards are going to be able to, to be blocked. If I attack like this, he can block this guy or kill my Darius. If he blocks my Darius, he's going to get hit by 12. So he's obligated to block this. Anyways, maybe, just maybe, he misplays and blocks my Darius. So I want to keep that possibility alive. No. I really need to get this guy killed. Nice, nice. So good that I didn't play this. Because now I have little. If I play Spirit Mentor and buff my Usari. Okay, why is he attacking right now? Okay. Okay. I'm going to block this. He wants to kill my Darius. Okay, that's bad. I knew that I had to block. Anyways, it was little because 
if I blocked with Darius, he was going to buff. He was still going to buff the other guys. It, it was still little. Didn't expect the two might, but in other situation, I should have blocked. I should have blocked. Actually, I should have blocked. But it was little anyway. But it 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 was a misplay by my part. It was a misplay. So I'm going to trade this because I want more spells like this. And if I am hopeful, I don't have the deck to make this work because I do not have. A, uh, one mana Noxus units So yeah, it's pretty slow card for my deck So yes, I'm gonna take out that I should have blocked Sorry um, But But yeah, it was pretty hard for me to 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 consider that he was going to have two mites. And also another reason that I should have blocked is because I already had I already had my my way to kill him. I had a Yusari a buffed Yusari. So I think that I didn't have to to play for the value so yes I'm gonna buff this because as I said in my draft I like to think Trifian Glory Seeker as hard removals so I don't care if this guy has one more one more health So we are playing against Fuerio, Yonia and Shadow Isles. And the champions are Hecarim, Trindomer and Zed. The bad thing about this deck is... If he plays a Zed, I'm over. If he plays a Trindomer, I'm dead. If he plays a Hecarim, I'm already dead again. So... So yes, and also he has such a huge early game. So I want to keep to 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 control the ball a little bit. So that's why I'm playing my Refire and Glory Seeker. And I'm going to kill these guys. This guy is going to have quick attack, so he doesn't going to die. Okay, actually that's good. That's good for me. He's wasting a lot of spells. He only has four cards. I have to uh, change a little bit my. I want to change a little bit my gameplay. I'm going to play for value instead of tempo. So because he's being really really aggressive. I think I want to block this guy if he attacks. I'm not in a position to wait until this guy has quick attack. I don't care about that. I'm gonna block. I do not care. Yes. Don't want to drop below my half of my Nexus. And yeah, he's, he only has three cards. I have my Reckless Pifarian, I have my Darius. 
so that's what I'm talking about about playing more for the value and not for the tempo actually I, I, I'm I'm it was the other way I want to play for the tempo not for the value sorry nice this is probably going to be already gg if he has if he had to do that that's i mean it's already over already over um <laughs> yes gonna play my Darius right now I have little Okay, this, this is already game. Already game. He had to use two Will of Ionia just to be alive. So, yeah, this, this is a better option because I managed to use all my mana. Shadow Eyes, wait, Shadow Eyes. Maybe he has the ruination, so I'm gonna keep my two mana to keep uh, this. Um, <laughs> of course, he doesn't have the ruination. Uh, I can uh. Yes, I'm gonna make this block Chindamar is going to level up But still I can win in my next turn I stand for so yes nice GG So I thought he was going to be a mid-range deck or something like that because the champions were all so late game units. Um, of course a champion is not a way to know what type of deck it's the one the, the, the one you are playing against but it's uh, a sign. Uh, how, how is it? I don't find the word in English. Well, I don't know. A sign. Uh, to find a hopeful for Shield Breaker could be good. Could be really good. Deny. Do not want to lose my deny. No. Silver Moon Scout. I prefer to make this the first trade, and I'm going to do it. I'm I'm shifting a little bit to a more mid range. So yeah, this is really good. To find hopeful for King Colofle. Nice, Elixir of Rad, Legion Reward, Drift Parian, Shieldbreaker for Swift Wind Lancer. So, okay. I love this trade, but I'm still going to make 
this train. I like a Kinko life blade and I don't manage to get the aggressive deck that I wanted. Legion Drummer for Yusari could be Cooling Strike to Finance Sword. Inspire Mentor for Swift and Lancer. Yes, I'm gonna make this trade. I want a Swift and Lancer. Inspire Mentor for Reckless to Fire. No, no, actually no. Inspiring student for sound hits, no. Kinko for the fan glory seeker, no. Shadow Assassin. Dual protector, could be. Could be an option. It's not... Uh, it's doub doubtful. Elixir of Wrath for Warchief, no. Twin disciplines for Yusari, no. I want to keep my twin disciplines. This is an option. I think I'm gonna make it yes so as you can see in the last five trades my deck changed a lot a lot it's a whole new deck I'm not the aggressive deck that I was I moderate now I'm an adult and I have to play more um, smartly is, is that a word I don't know English sorry um, so now I know that I have lots of four mana cost units so not going to keep these cards uh, maybe I can replace even my reckless trifarian because I know that I have a lot of three mana units and what I want is a two mana unit nice pretty good i'm happy with this i know the three mana is going to come pretty nice really good so we are fighting against Luc lucian and darius i already said but you can have all maximum of four champions that means he maybe has he has more than one of this unit. That's that's scary. That's a little bit scary. I'm gonna play to find glory. No, no, no. The, I, I think I'm playing against an aggressive deck. So he probably has it too. Nice. Yes. If I play this, uh, I wanted to make to deal five free damage, but I'm pretty sure he was playing a two mana unit because of the type of deck he had. So uh, I can't play these two guys because this guy can't block. And I'm in a little bit of uh, I'm a little bit under pressure, so I'm gonna make this kind of plays. I'm not going to play my Trifian, my Reckless Trifian. I'm gonna play Trifian Glory Seeker to block this guy. Okay. I'm going to let this guy die because he can't. She can't block. I want to kill this card actually. If I use, I prefer to keep my spell mana to kill this guy. I'm gonna wait until the last moment, of course. Nice. Pretty good. R right now, I can block this. Hmm. <laughs> so I can use cooling strike, kill this guy. Might, yes. 
I have to pass. These units can't block. Okay, I already lose. He's going to hit me for seven. I'm going to be at 7 health uh, This unit is going to kill me With his last breath effect <laughs> do I have a way to... No, 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 no. I do not have a way to win this. My ass is ready. <laughs> okay, I definitely don't have a way to win this. So, yes. Um, he blocks with this and he's going to kill me. <laughs> so, this is probably going to be GG. But, yeah, at least we, we, I think we made a great run. Um, because I I never thought that the deck was uh, finalized uh, finalized it was finished sorry finished uh, it was lacking some things it was a little bit weird a, a deck a little weird to play. Um, it, it didn't have a, a concrete archetype, it's not like it was a huge aggro, aggro deck, it was a mid-range and of course it was in control, but anyways, uh, it's pretty good to see that Expedition is really forgiving, it's pretty easy to get to 6 at least six wins um you are not going to be able to win all the to all the expeditions it's a little bit hard um i had some great uh i had some great <coughs> win streaks something like four in a row four or seven wins in a row but yeah it's it's may, maybe some other guy can but I can't uh, always win 7 wins because um, I, I've made some misplays I, I, maybe I made some really bad trades um, that maybe I can't see but I'm happy with how I played anyways I think I made really good choices with my deck but yeah the last, uh, also the last game is so RNG because if you play against something that counters you, yeah, you can do anything. And also, it's the the draws are a really important factor. I think that I could I couldn't do anything against that guy. He had the Senna and the Lucian. He had some of the best aggressive units. So yeah. Uh, anyways, hope. It helps you a little bit and yeah, see you in the next one.